Hey guys, we are about to go in to see the second apartment that we've seen so far. We're super excited about this one. The pictures, like the, nice like the outside doesn't look very, it doesn't look like how it looks like inside. Inside it's all like nice wood flooring, nice kitchen, and it's bigger than most of the ones that we've seen, I think, so. So I just wanted to film a super quick update. I know I look like crap today, but it's moving day, so I don't really care about how I look. So we are moving today. I have a lot of stuff in my car. Me and Glenn are gonna go get the keys here in about like 10 minutes. We're meeting, I'm meeting him at the place and then we're gonna go together to get the keys. But before I leave, I'm reading The Night Shift by Annie Crown right now. And I wanted to talk about it a little bit. I know this vlog is gonna be like strictly moving, but I'm actually really enjoying this. Like I, I saw that it was like a Wattpad book and I was like, oh, this isn't gonna be good. But it's actually really good. Like, I don't know. But one thing I am a little concerned about is that I'm on page 130 out of like, I think it's 300. And they're already like, I feel like everything's good between them. Like, I feel like they can just get together and you know what I mean? But there's still another 150 pages left. So something's gonna happen and that's kind of scary. So I'm just kind of, you know, predicting that something's gonna happen and it's not gonna be all okay just from here on out. I will vlog when I can. Today's gonna be a very busy day. I have a bunch of stuff loaded up in my car right now. I'm gonna drop that off, come back. We're gonna have to go back and forth until the furniture gets here. So yeah, I will try to vlog whenever I can, but that's the plan for right now. Okay guys, we're walking in. <laughs> Holy shit. I want a little doorbell. I feel like we should get a ring. Yeah. Ah. Okay guys, we're in the apartment now. Ah. Okay. So this is gonna be the reading room. This is gonna be the bedroom. Hey guys, so we carried up the first load of stuff. So we're on the second floor. So, we so we're just unpacking the stuff that we have unloaded right now. This is a cute little pot. <laughs> this is a hen left this whole thing. Do you think we'll be better? Oh, why is it pointing on me? <laughs> I guess I'm filling up a burrito right now and I'm really sweaty even though you guys can't see my face. Okay guys, I'm here to update you. I have to go to work at 10 o'clock and it is like 7.50 or something. But I woke up at like 6 so that I could get some stuff done before I left. And it is a mess in here. Like really badly. So... This is the reading room. This is how it's looking so far. Um, that's my closet over there. I have to put these clothes away. I don't really feel like going and showing you the rest of the house right now because it's a disaster, but we got a lot done in the bedroom. We built the bed frame and all of that. I'm just like feeling super stressed out because it's hard for me to be in a place where everything is like this. And I still have more. Not a lot more, but I still have some things left. And so I'm just really stressed out right now, but it'll be fine. I will update you guys when I can. I work until six tonight. So after that, I'm gonna go to my mom's and get the rest of my stuff, I think, and then come here and I have, tomorrow's my birthday. So I'm getting a tattoo tomorrow. Then I have birthday dinner, but in between those, I will be doing as much as possible to get my stuff around. I'll update you guys when I can. Okay. 
guys, so it has been quite a while um, since I last updated you. And for that, I apologize. But if you couldn't tell, I'm sick. I have been for the past four days, a couple days ago, I went to go get tested for like COVID and strep, and I was negative for both, so I think I have the flu. Other than that, not been so great. My throat has hurt like hell, and I feel bad because I think Glenn is getting it now. But I know it's been a while, <laughs> and so here I am. I'm here to show you guys our little apartment so far. It's kind of a mess right now, so please don't mind that. Also, I'm sorry for the microwave. I'm making potatoes right now. But I figured I would just like show you guys what we have going on so far and kind of just update you. It's not like perfect, I know that, but I really love it. And as long as it makes me and Glenn happy, I mean, I think that's all that matters. So, so I guess I'll just get right into showing you guys. So this is what you see when you first walk in. <laughs> we'll start over here first. Um, this is our table. We don't really have a very good space for a table to be, but um, we managed to find one that fits honestly really perfectly right here. We are thinking of building that Lego set and putting it up right here. And then, and then Glenn has all of his Lego minifigures down in here. And we're thinking about hanging that up right above the table. Um, we have this cute little tray that Glenn's mom gave us. Then over here we have the pantry. Um, yeah. And then this is the leave, the leaf. I don't know. It's It goes on the table to make it bigger, but obviously we don't have the room for that. And then we have a stool because I'm short and then that's our tool kit. Then here we have the fridge. We have a little Bob Ross magnet. And then this is like for little notes and stuff. Glenn's been leaving me notes, which is cute. And the fridge is super cute. Very nice. And then this is the kitchen. This is the microwave Glenn's mom got us. This is Glenn's Lego set, which I think we might have to find a separate spot for because it's kind of in an awkward spot. And then this is the stove. And it has a little overhead light. And then we have our kitchen utensils. I love this. This is for the non-existent fruit that we will someday get. Um, I guess Glenn brought this. Um, so we don't really, we don't have Wi-Fi right now, so that's kind of sucky. We don't get it until after I'm gone at Mexico. Then here's our sink. Don't mind the undone dishes. I love that picture. We have the little kettle right here, which I can unplug. And then this cute little thing with these cute little glasses that don't fit anywhere in our cupboards. Our cupboards are super nice, but they aren't like very tall, if you know what I mean. And then there's so much space though. Like, I don't even know like what to put in these cupboards. Like there's so many, as you can tell. So, and then in here, this is our living room. Like I said, we don't have internet, so the TV isn't hooked up yet. Glenn's got his PS5 in there, his Xbox, um, whatever. This night, or this um, entertainment stand came from his sister, which is cute, and I love it a lot. The fireplace doesn't work, but that's okay. And then this is our couch. Um, so this stuff is waiting to get set up because we don't have Wi-Fi, all of that too, and then all of that. Those are clothes I'm selling, so don't mind any of that. That won't be here. And then we have our little couch. And I love, I love this. I love this so much. It's so cute. And this is a little cat poem book Glenn got me, which is super cute. And then right here is our coat closet. Most of my shoes are in here. My jackets and coats and stuff. Then this is like the utility closet. So the mop and the vacuum are in there. And then in here to the right, this is my reading room slash Glenn's workspace. Um, it's both of our rooms, but most of my stuff is in here. Um, this is a little reading chair that's super cute. I love this corner. And I love this lamp, by the way. Can we just admire that? Fit check. 
Anyways, that is my TBR cart. Super cute. Don't mind the dirty clothes on the floor. That's where my backpack sits for school. And then this is the bookshelf. Glenn's got some of his Legos on here. And then this is my vanity, which I love. I've never had such a nice vanity, and I love it so much. Those are all my hair tools. And then this is Glenn's desk. We're going to get him a bigger desk, but for now, he's just using this one. So that's his laundry basket, too. Um, he has a picture of me on there. Isn't that cute? And then this is my closet. And I just have, like, some bags hanging that I use a lot. Right out here, we have the linen closet where we keep all of our laundry stuff and extra towels and stuff. And this is the bathroom. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a tub, but that's fine because we don't really take baths, so. So, super cute. Please don't look at me, I'm sick and I'm a mess, so. And then right in here is our bedroom. It's, the bed isn't made, but that's fine. And also, okay, this is Glenn's closet. It's a little bit of a mess over here because he's a man, but you know, that's to be expected from a man, so. This is where our TV is going, but we, <laughs> um, we need to get like another one of these one by three cubbies so it can be up a little higher so we can see better. And the door will need to be shut when we're when we're in here, when we're out of here, because obviously there's not a lot of room. Usually this tray sits on the bed because it's super cute. Um, but clearly the bed's not made and we're not really there yet, so. And then this is my nightstand. Currently reading Flawless by Elsie Silver. Really loving it so far. My water bottle and my diffuser and some pillow sprays and medicine because I'm sick. And then that's Glenn's over there. That's basically everything I have to show you guys so far. I honestly, I love it so much and I'm so grateful. We got so lucky with this apartment for how much we're paying for it. I'm so lucky and I love it. And as long as me and Glenn love it, that's all that matters. Anyways, my potatoes are done. And this might be a short vlog. I don't really know. I can't remember everything that I filmed for this, but I just thought it would be a cute video to make as my first, since it's my first apartment, my first place, you know. I am also leaving for Mexico for my graduation trip in three days. Holy shit. I'm super excited for that. And I'm hopefully going to be filming while I'm there, like my Tennessee spring break trip is kind of the style video I was hoping to film for Mexico. So definitely be looking for that. I also just wanted to thank you guys for bearing with me for the weird posting times and schedules that I've been doing. I really, I've really been busy. I started a new job. I obviously moved, I moved out of my house into my first place with my boyfriend. I'm going to Mexico and it was my birthday. So I had a lot going on. Speaking of birthday, it was my 18th birthday and I got this tattoo. I posted a TikTok about it, so most of you guys might have already seen it, but I love it so much. It's super cute and simple. And yeah, something I also love about this apartment is that we are literally directly next to a football field, which I mean, some people might not like that, but personally, I love hearing the Friday night football games, especially the band. I just think it's really peaceful, and I love the feeling of, like, kind of being in the city. Like, I want to live in the city someday, but also I think that living in the country or, like, in the mountains would be super fun. I just love this place. I love it here. I feel so comfortable. All the neighbors are so nice. The rent is good. Like, we can afford it, and it's super nice in here, and I'm really excited to be here. And I feel really grateful. And there are a lot of times that I miss my mom and my brothers and my sister and my dad and everyone. But I feel so at home here and they can come visit. And my dad and my dad's girlfriend and my brother are coming over to see you today and I'm so excited. Yeah, it's really a bittersweet feeling. It's so good to have your own place with your own space. And But it's also like I miss, I miss being home where 
there's always something going on. Like, I can always go talk to my mom or always go talk to Xander and he's just a room away. But it's just a part of life. So it's just been an adjustment, but it's just something that we all have to go through. Well, most of us have to go through. So that's really all I have to say for this video. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It might not be that long, it might not be that entertaining, but I thought it would be cool to document my first moving out experience. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for supporting me on this journey. It's been it's been really fun and I'm just very grateful to have so many supporters. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.